everybody and welcome back to my channel and I am thrilled for today's video because it is the official kickoff of the Lee Max holiday season. So with that said, we are going to start with one of my favorites already. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Lee Max Birch Creek Ice Fishing Festival. Let's get into it. Bring in the Okay, so the Birch Creek Ice Fishing Festival. Guys, this one is absolutely stunning. It's a Michaels exclusive, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. And it's so easy to see why. This thing is absolutely incredible. It was one of my first choices for this season. There is a boatload of detail to see, no pun intended on the theme there. But let me tell you guys, I just am jumping out of my seat again for the holiday kickoff. It is Christmas time in the Lamax world. I know we're a long ways off but come on guys look at this thing it's absolutely stunning so with that said let's take a look at some of the facts so of course it was released in 2022 and it is as I said earlier a Michaels exclusive the SKU number off the top is 25862 now for some dimensions we have 8.86 inches high 11.81 inches wide and 9.25 inches in depth this thing is gigantic I mean and it's got to be because there's so much going on product type sights and sounds and it is made of I quote electric components but it feels a lot like resin to me now let's talk power this is going to be your standard 4.5 volt DC power supply this is going to be across the board for most of your houses these days uh, look I love it it makes a lot of houses universal uh, as far as the draw that information is not listed yet as this video is an early early release review if you will um, but I'm going to estimate the draw to be in the neighborhood of around 200 120 milliamps. As for your switch, it's going to be the standard roll power volume switch. Super simple, easy to use, and always dependable. Lastly, as for the price, that information is not out yet either, but I will estimate it between $120 to $159, somewhere in that range, you know, considering the sounds, the lights, and the overall size and everything. So that, that's kind of my estimation, but I will try to put it in the description once that information is released. So that about wraps up all of the facts. So now let's take a closer look. Okay, so a quick note before you get started. When you open the box, it's going to include a little sign and a baggie, and we're gonna have to put that on. It's very, very simple. You're basically just gonna pull it out of the bag, push it right down there in the top left. It'll spin on its own, all that kind of stuff. It fits in very nicely, very snugly, and you don't have to worry about it falling out, anything like that. Other than that, you're ready to go. So starting from the top here, you are going to see a beautifully colored roof, very simple, a little chimney, some snow, just, you know, some topper kind of stuff. But let me tell you, the show is about to begin because as we work our way down here to the first top section, you are going to see all kinds of things from beautiful LED strips. Uh, the picture makes it look like they're kind of like flashing or pulsing. They're not. They're actually steady in real life. So please keep that in mind throughout the whole video. Um, but yeah, beautiful trimmed lights. I love that. Uh, the sign work is fantastic. There are signs everywhere. I'll try to post different signs and stuff as I do the overall video here for the show. Um, but however, guys, listen, the churning bait sign with the little fish and the earmuffs on, Oh, it is the perfect little addition to really tie things in here. Again, you know, they're heavy to the theme here. This kind of, you know, catch of the day, fisherman's wharf, you know, that kind of theme, you know, ice fishing, right? They're really sticking to that. So, you know, having the snow with the sign spinning and all the Christmas lights, it just screams holiday to me. Okay, so working our way more towards the middle, I want to send first this cute little note for the fish scale. I don't know why I like that, but it just, it's really cool, and it's right in front of the catch of the day, right there on the little garage shack thing. There's also a guy holding a fishing pole who got the catch of the day, and he's actually basically getting his picture taken, and it's cool because throughout the soundtrack, um, there's like some camera flashes, and he's kind of talking like, you know, one more, that kind of deal, and they get a lot of really cool, I don't know, feel from it maybe is, is the word that I'm going for here. Uh, there's also some more LEDs that are kind of cool, you know, things like that. There's just 
I mean, I want to cover everything, guys, but let's be honest, the video would be forever long. So let's keep working our way down here more towards the bottom. This is, again, continuing the star of the show thing, uh, something that I've never seen in Lamax uh, as far back as I can remember. In the ice fishing here, we actually have people ice fishing. The fish actually come up. The people lean back as, as, as if they're pulling the fish up. It's super, super exciting. There's also one of my favorite gems about this piece, the water wheel. It actually spins. We saw a water wheel in the Spooky Town stuff this year as well. I've always liked water wheels, but to see them here in the Lamax world is just really a nice addition. There's also some Christmas trees, things like that. I wish they lit up, but they don't. But nonetheless, they are there. Also, there are some ducks, and they spin around as well, so you get some more animation there on the bottom. There's a couple of them right in front of the water wheel. It's a cool little thing. There are a bunch of hidden gems all around this place and when you see it on display it's really one of those ones that you're gonna sit there and go wow I have to have this I would say from the Christmas stuff and let me tell you I have a bunch of Christmas reviews headed your way all brand new 2022 stuff but this is definitely one of the must have haves I, you know we'll see what the price comes in on it is going to be at michael so use your coupons you'll get an amazing bang for your buck on this piece i actually enjoyed the soundtrack on this one as well which you'll hear in a minute overall the size is great for what you get on this piece it just seems like it's never ending detail i mean it's everywhere you can tell that this was one of those pieces they really took some extra special care in you know and i think anybody who collects lamax can proudly stand behind this piece. With that said, you guys, I want to send a huge shout out to Lamax for helping make these early reviews possible. It is all because of them and their consistent hard work. And to have the opportunity to share this content with you is just awesome both from a reviewer perspective but more importantly from a collector perspective i've been a collector my whole life and to now have the opportunity to review some of these early releases it just really warms my heart guys thank you thank you thank you as always please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next one